Howdy, practical patriots and practical preppers. Take Rus. Alice, Texas. Hey, folks, giant practical nerds. Decided to take a little time off from farming outside. It's about 105 degrees out there. <laughs> so I wanted to do this video for you. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Strictly for entertainment and discussion. But by all means, people, tell me what you think. You know, we have a we as a nation, United States, we're kind of in big trouble. We, I remember when I was younger, we used to all get along. We'd go to concerts. You know, somebody had a different point of view. Oh, well, you know, that was your point of view. This is mine. Now, we, the citizens of the United States, have become so polarized into our beliefs and which way things should go that we just can't even see eye to eye. Not even something so simple as this. People say that this is an outdated document. People around the world are telling us that, oh, you should just adapt more like us. Blah, blah, blah. Like I think it's any of their business. You know, it's funny because I'll tell you this as a person who works in the medical profession. I see people from all over the world. If America was such a bad place, then why are so many people desperately trying to get here? But everyone has a right to their opinion unless you are thinking differently than they are. So, that said, you got entertainers involved here in this situation now over things like this. Like that's any of their business either, but again, I digress. Okay. So here's what happened. You had entertainers, musicians, you know, actors throwing in their two cents, saying they were going to move, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I don't think anyone ever did. People were saying that they were going to move. If they just had enough money, they would leave America. Then they got stimulus checks. And, uh, hey, you know, last I checked, you can go from Maine to Mexico for about, a, what, $450? And you can actually, or less than that, actually, I think it's like more like a $250. You can fly from uh, Los Angeles, California to London for about $1,300 if you find good flights. They said they'd leave. We didn't say they didn't say we had to pay their living or they had to have a living or whatever. They said they were going to leave. However, so they decided they didn't want to do that either. So Ron Perlman came out and said, you know what? Blue states should just separate from the red states. Look it up if you don't believe me. He actually said that, the actor. So here we go. How about we look at a map and some of you are going to groan. <laughs> and it's perfectly okay. But how about we look at a map here? This map is according to the 2020 presidential elections as to which state you live in is blue or red. Now, some of you, uh, uh, <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to start from this end and we're going to work our way over. Let's say that there was the Great Balkanization. You know what that means? It means basically separation within within an area, okay? And let's explain what happens. You can call it, now, secession, guys. Okay, understand that as I remember, and fact check me on this, after the Civil War, no state was allowed, including Texas, were not allowed to, according to the laws after the Civil War, to secede from the Union, okay? If, I, if, if, that's, if that's wrong, by all means, correct me. I don't mind, guys, because history buffs, you know, we're not... Conspiracy theorists, we just understand history. So let's go from the left to the right and see what happens here. <sighs> okay, I got friends in <laughs> I got I got friends in every state and around the world. These are people that I think the world of. Doesn't matter. I tell people I don't care what state you live in. Do you believe in freedom? Do you believe in patriotism? Do you believe in sticking up for what is right? I don't care where you live. If you do. I'm with you. We can be friends. We can split a plate of brisket if you want. Starting with California, there's lots of patriots. You know, Alaska, you got to be a tough person to live there. Alaska's going to stay red. Hawaii, and eh, Hawaii's going to stay blue. Don't even worry about that. California, lots of patriots in California. So what happens here? Colored markers, arts and crafts time. Around Sacramento. Years ago, years ago, Upper State California wanted to secede from lower state California. So, all right, you guys guys living in the mountains, they decide, uh, you know, we don't want no part of this right here. 
So we're going to form our own state called Jefferson. Oregon, right here at the mountains. Y'all know who controls this part of Oregon, right? You take these tough mountain people that wear plaid and they do a lot of hunting and camping and outdoorsy. How long do you think, I'm going to use this term, Antifa would last against those people? Let me just make a reference. Cookie shop. Okay. <laughs> All right. Crumble together cookie shop. Right or wrong, how long, how, how long, how did that turn out? Okay. Washington. I know a lot of patriots. Some of my friends, uh, fellow veterans live in Washington. They don't like exactly what happened to the magazine law. Okay. Go look it up. The magazine ban, blah, 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 that happened. Ten rounds, you know. So Washington. Well, you know, you got Seattle, Olympia, all that kind of stuff. You think they're going to hand it over? You think they're going to hand their state over? No, I don't think so. Idaho, good farming community. Montana, Wyoming. What kind of people live in Montana, Wyoming? Mountain people, country people, cowboys, okay? People that really work hard stay in this way. Look at this right here, okay? You say what you want. Again, this is for discussion, entertainment. Utah, hello? Colorado. Well, Nevada and Colorado have been invaded. Get another marker here from this, all right, and this. Along with Arizona, okay? Uh, Arizonians, yes, I know. X Tech Tactical, I believe, is located in Arizona. So, which way? All you guys that live in Arizona that are watching this, which way are y'all going to fall? Y'all going to do this also? New Mexico, uh friend of mine the other day said, bunch of darn aging hippies <laughs> from the 60s. Hey, I was from the 60s too, but you know, uh, kind of a question mark there. Texas. Let me tell you what happens in Texas. Texas is always close to becoming this. All right? No joke. Because you got places, you know, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth is turning purple-ish, blue-ish. If you wonder what this little mark right there is, that's where I live. But however, there is this mass exodus because they're saying, uh-uh, we don't want no part of this either. Lots of jobs and homes, gone. Now, when that happens, also professionally-minded people, because not, not, not all professional-minded people are conservatives, but, you know, this kind of stuff happens. Kansas stays the same, Oklahoma, you know, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota. I don't know much about Minnesota, don't you know? So you guys in Minnesota sound off. What's going to happen to y'all? Now, as I said, guys, this is the great balkanization, okay? All right? So keep that in mind. Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana. Yeah, hold on. We're going we gonna to get on in on this, okay? So they're going to stay like that. Mississippi. I can hear the banjos playing. I want to go out on a riverboat. Alabama. I was stationed at, uh, uh, in Alabama for a while. Uh, the uh, base of training, Fort McClellan, closed down. Florida, DeSantis, yeah, okay. Georgia, two people I think the world of live in Georgia. I was stationed at Fort Gordon for a while. Uh, according to them, and this is what happens. No, because I asked them, what do you think? <laughs> Carrie, I hope you don't mind if I mention your name, Al. But this is what y'all kind of, when I talked to y'all, this is what y'all told me was going to happen. And <laughs> right across there, and this happens. Ba 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 ba. Okay, again, balkanization. South Carolina, North Carolina. All right, uh, Palmetto State Armory. Okay, Tennessee, Kentucky, home of the Volunteers. I have a station at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, which is right on the uh, border of uh, Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh. Illinois, what are you going to say about Illinois and Wisconsin, okay? Now, what are we going to say about that? Indiana, Idaho, okay? Michigan, sound off, guys. If you're from these areas, tell me what you, what's going to happen to your state. Uh, West Virginia, mountain people, yes, absolutely. Virginia, that's a good point right here. By history, by history, okay? By history, I remember when Virginia turned blue, the governor said, turn them in, turn them in, give them up, you, 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 you. You rebel scum, give them up. <laughs> right? What'd they do? Virginia's turned out in mass. Okay, Virginia's turned out in mass to the Capitol and said, Molon Lobby, come and take them. Yeah, it didn't work out well for them, did they? We're in fear of our lives. You should be. 
okay, you start wanting to act like a bunch of darn communists and crap, you should be in fear of your life. Maryland, Pennsylvania. I know patriots from Pennsylvania. This is what they tell me will happen. Is this. Okay. And then this. No joke. This is what they tell me. Again, folks, be, don't, don't uh, be shy to disagree. That's what happens to Pennsylvania. They say everything over here, they're going to just kick them out. New York. All right. New York City's down over here along with Long Island. This is what New Yorkers... Do. Okay, I talk to people from this part of New York and this part of New York, okay? We don't see eye to eye over here, but that's okay. We're still friends. You know, but this part up here, right here, they drew the line right there. Kind of sketchy. The other part, upper state New York, where all the dairy cattle are and stuff, guess what happens there? They said... They, this is what one exactly told me. We want to give New York City to New Jersey. Woo! That's fighting work. <laughs> okay. The rest of this up here, it just stays blue. Now, you would think that would be 25 states and 25 states, right? Actually not. It starts becoming territories again. If we do this great balkanization thing, if we do exactly what the people on the left say, this is not going to end up well for them. Now, people will sit there and say, well, money this, y'all should pay tariffs. Where do you think a majority of the oil refineries are? I believe... These two territories right here. So now, look at this. You have all these blue states, guys. Okay, all these, all these blue states right here. All these blue states over here. Okay. So you're separated by all these red states. Now, how is that going to work out for anybody? I mean, heck, try, you know, sad enough over here, what's a, a bottle of ketchup cost you like $20 now or <laughs> some ridiculous price? I only wonder how it's going for Hawaii right now with all this economy going. Um, you know, any of us old veterans, guys, uh, we don't want to see this happen, but it seems like it's being pushed on us. And I don't care which side you're on, it's being pushed on us. When I was a kid, we used to go to concerts together, and we didn't care which side of the political spectrum you were on. We got along because of music. That said, is this going to continue to happen? That's the question for discussion. Now, would this be bloodless? Uh, you know, I know people that live in this area. Uh, I guarantee there'd be some gunfights over here. Definitely be some gunfights over here. I'm not too sure about California. You guys from California sound off. But as this happens, Washington, Washington, uh, the people I know, the veterans I know, I guarantee they would take up arms. All right. New York, uh, I'm not too sure. They might hit them with a milk jug or something like that. Up in state New York. God bless those New Yorkers, especially some of those New York women. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> once I met in the military, <laughs> they were pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia would definitely put up a fight. I know that for sure. Georgia, oh my gosh. Yeah, they would definitely, there would definitely be some skirmishes. Now, to sit there and say that this would be a bloodless civil war, I don't think so. I think it would be almost bloodless. But I want you to think about this, guys. When pop culture is referring to a second civil war. No joke. Look this up if you want to. Star Trek, Brave New Worlds, Ca uh, Captain Pike mentions a second civil war in America. Now, I'm just telling you what I see, and again, I'm opening this up for discussion. Y'all tell me what you think. I, I know about Texas. Okay, you guys live here. Uh, I have friends all over the place, and they tell me what they think. Do I have a magic feather conceit of the future? No. Or do I? I'm just saying that this would probably not end as well as Ron Perlman and some of these other entertainers think it would be. Look at the map. Look at where all... Now, you got a lot of good uh, produce growing. This is where a lot of our majority of our produce comes from, okay? Um, think, about, think about what goes on. And don't just look at your own location. Think about what goes on. I guarantee you if they said, well, you know, if... You know, you darn patriots, rebel scum, uh, we're going to take the money, we're going to take our federal funding. Texas says, you know what, we've got oil, we're going to drill, baby, drill. And we'll have the oil dollar. Uh, we also have problems, yes, but look at, think about this. We also have our own energy grid, our own power grid. we got some problems we got to fix with that, but I guarantee you put a Texan on a job, they'll get it done. So y'all tell me what you think, okay? I'm just looking at this from a topographical thing. 
kind of talking to people that live all over the country. Uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But you know what? What would happen to this also? What would happen to that? Questions, comments, leave below. Tell me what y'all think. Is this where we're headed? Because if it is, I guarantee you better wrap up your preps. This ride is going to be one heck of a ride. All I can ask is for the great spirit to smile upon us and find a resolution. But if it must come to pistols and tomahawks, then let it happen in my generation so my children do not have to worry about this. Questions, comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. Out here. One last thought before we stop, okay? I know this is video is kind of long, but uh, hmm, here we go. You understand that the United States would be no more anymore, right? So all these states right here that are red would be the free states, and all these states that are blue, well, they are what they are. They become the new socialist states, okay? So can no longer be the United States of America. What it would become is blue states. They would become the People's Democratic States of America. The red states would become the Federal Republic of America. Something to think about.